Hello there, everybody. This is No Name One One Seven Spore, and today I am back with some Roll the Waves Two as Italy. Uh, wait, hold on. No, I I wanted to fade into this. Oops. Uh, yeah, you can tell that I actually do look around a little bit before I start the stream, um, refamiliarizing myself with where I'm at in the save. So. Yeah, uh, hello Flying Fortress 15, hello Fallen Star, welcome to the livestream Flying Fortress, and uh, welcome back to the livestream Fallen Star. Somewhat warm where you're at? Yeah, that makes sense. I think here it's got, it's like, during the night it dropped into the 40s, so in the house it was uh, kind of cold because we don't have the heat on yet because we're just getting out of summer. Um, so yeah, it was pretty cold last night. I'm feeling a little better now. So the plan for France is to steal their colonies. Now I'm going to switch our invasion target. Right now I was going for Tunisia. However, I think Algeria is going to be better. Because the thing is, if I grab Algeria and eventually go to war with the British, that suddenly puts Gibraltar up for grabs. Which I want. I want Mediterranean domination. So Algeria first... Uh, then probably Tunisia, then probably Corsica. However, I'm not fully expecting to get all of these within the same, uh, within the same, uh, war. It might take two wars to do it. And after the first war, we're probably going to want to try to fight the British while their battleships are still explodey. Um, first time seeing the stream live and not on YouTube? Yeah, um, I'm finally streaming at a fairly normal time. Most of the time I don't. No, there was a time where I was doing these streams at like uh, 1 to 2 a.m. But you know, fairly normal time right now. So yeah, Benedetto Brin is 35,000 tons. She's still 30 months out. We can build her. I am actually going, part of me wants to halt some of the subs under construction. I'm going to halt maybe four of them and leave the other ones to continue building. And that'll get me a little bit of money back. So hopefully I can sustain this, and if I can't sustain this, then we just uh, continue to ha or halt and resume these guys. Part of me wants to scrap these right now, if I can. I'm not fully sure if I can, because it might not allow it. Part of me doesn't, if we need like some additional backup when France finally does get into the Mediterranean. But... Having Russia as an ally is going to hopefully split their force between Northern Europe and the Mediterranean. And hopefully I can use that to my advantage. Uh, Catania is nine months out, so hopefully we will get her some at some point during this war and actually get some more modern, uh, proper uh, protected cruisers. Actually, these, these are light cruisers. These are actual light cruisers. The rest of mine are protected cruisers, but those are actual light cruisers. So yeah. Um, I think that is good. Let's save. Research is on 12%. We can reduce the research slightly if we want to uh, really do stuff. How do you have zero tensions with Hosper Hungary? I don't know. Um, it's just happened to be that way, even though we took Dalmatia out for them, or from them. Okay, enemy raid on coastal shipping. I'll accept that. Okay, we get our two... Uh, heavy cruisers, and I'm gonna say these are heavy cruisers. These are not armored cruisers at this point. These have gotten to the point where they are heavy cruisers. Versus whatever the French are gonna throw at us. Hopefully it's not battle cruisers. If it's battle cruisers, we're, we're screwed. Alright, it is a raid, so they're gonna come somewhere from this direction, either from Corsica or Nice. And, uh, Hit Genova, La Spiza, or Imperia. Okay, see St. Limits ship speed. I forgot to build airfields. That's what I need to do. Okay, now we know where they are. Hello, what are you? Saying. Is that a. Oh, it is CAs. Nice. Cut it off, or cross its T. Okay, it's gonna swerve to the side, but, you know, we're gonna be able to keep shooting it here. Try to keep all your guns firing on it if possible. Which looks good for the moment. We can outrun it. 
big question is what are what are its escorting destroyers going to do? Can't wait for the ships to not fire torpedoes. Yeah, yeah, that happened. Um, oh, we're already reporting heavy damage on the uh, Lenoy class. I, th I think what happened with the torpedo thing was um, the destroyers got friendly ship in line of fire because we were encompassing it on both sides, so they didn't fire. However, that the enemy battleship, uh, it had, it didn't have that restriction, you know, because there weren't any friend or any or any uh, friendly ships for it nearby, so it was able to just fire torpedoes on us very easily. Well, we can do a thing to it. Yeah, good. We're landing hits on it. So we're reporting heavy damage on it. I wouldn't be too surprised if its destroyers do a charge here soon. How fast is it moving currently? We're currently showing 15 knots, so it has slowed down somewhat. Alright, we do need to trend south. So what are these destroyers? How big are they? 700 tonners. Okay, so they are larger than the majority of ours. Not all of them. Because we have eight, I think eight modern ones. Good news is we are scoring six inch hits on these destroyers. Now that destroyer is in a good torpedo position. However, I don't know if France has the technology to exploit that at the moment. Oh, that's bad. Nope. Okay. It charged us and I briefly lost control of the time. Which is about the worst scenario possible. But thankfully I was able to do that little maneuver just in time. So yep, France is now trying to run away. Tail between their legs. You joke in the YouTube comment section. GG's got friendly ship in line of fire. Yeah. That's exactly what happened. Well, it's probably exactly what happened. Admittedly, that's the... It would be the AI thinking that rather than the player, but I think that exact same restriction was applying in that moment. Um, and that's why it took him so long. I kind of knew that at the time as well, but, you know, kind of wasn't saying it. Alright. I was kind of hoping that it wouldn't be true, but, you know, sometimes when you hope something isn't true, it doesn't change that is true. Okay, that javelin class has split off. I don't know if that's a good sign or a bad sign. Unfortunately, these guys are getting very close to St. Florent. So, we might have to settle with not sinking this cruiser. Okay, cut. Cut back here. Careful of the javelin. Swerve back up north. One of them's dead in the water. That's an excellent sign. Are you sinking? You are indeed sinking. Uh, target the other division, then. Because this is a dead ship. I am going to do a small swerve around this ship, just to make sure that it doesn't decide to fire a torpedo into my forces. Because I think dead ships can fire one torpedo after being sunk. Yep, they have managed to make it back to port. Looks like your CA... Yeah! Yeah, their CA can go 21 knots. Are either 21 or 20 knots. Let's see. It can go 21. We can go 27. Unfortunately, they just made it into port. Yep, battle ended. Victory for us. Sanka Destroyer. They're heavy... Or they're uh, protected... No. Armored cruiser, speak English, please, uh, made it into port. Oh, yeah, that thing's barely an armored cruiser. I was kind of more right to say protected cruiser. It's a protected cruiser with an armored belt. Um, three inch belt midships, two inch deck, three and a half inch turret, three inch battery, four inch citadel. Yeah, this thing's not well armored. It's not well armed. Um, that's a lot of multiple 10 inch hits. Just weren't able to sink, sink it. It did fire its torpedo at one point. 
Yeah, 1253 launches torpedo. It misidentified our uh, ships as uh, battle cruisers. Although, to be fair, that's not that hard to believe. You know, we're 17,000 ton ships. That's not hard to believe that you think, oh, that's a battle cruiser. Because at this point in time, they kind of are. Uh, yeah, so we destroyed some turrets. And just shot it up a few times. Didn't do too much. It was slowed down to 18 knots. Um, rather than the 15 it was showing me on the screen. This destroyer did launch its torpedoes at us at one point. That must have been the one we turned away from. Uh, so it took... It takes a six... Looks like what? Fortune or a six-inch belt extended hit. Probably caused some damage. Sorry. Six-inch uh, belt extended... Splinter's damage hull... Uh, that certainly would have slowed it down. Near miss, torpedo tubes damaged by splinters. Then takes a superstructure hit and an engine room hit to the belt from six inch shells. And though both those penetrated and that caused it to, that last one caused it to sink. Uh, this one we shot up with, uh, looks like two six inch hits. One of them apparently didn't do anything. And the other one did something, but it survived. Uh, they have ten gun broadsides. I'm trying to think of what... I, I'm trying to think of a Dreadnought which had the gun layout to compare it to, but I don't think there are any. It's kind of like if you took a... Um, it's kind of like if you took the B turret off of a Fuso. I think would be the best way to describe it. Or alternatively, you uh, move the B turret from a... Uh, like one of the British 13.5s to that position on the Fuso. Yeah, 478 victory points. Oh, 16-inch guns, quality negative one. I don't think that's useful currently. Yeah, not currently useful. Our 15-inch guns are quality zero. Uh, what I should be doing is I should be building some airship bases. So I think I want... Or I could build normal air bases. Probably at this point airship bases, though, for scouting purposes. Um... Build an airship base at uh, Trapini. There. Probably want an airship base at uh, Cagliari. Um, probably want an airship base at uh, Olbia, too. This is going to cost a little bit. And then I think getting an airship base at. I think both Imperia, uh, La Spesa, and probably Napoli as well, just to make sure we have that area covered up. Uh, no air bases currently. Um, aircraft types, we are... We don't have one uh, currently building. I think it would be best to, first of all, probably get a float plane. Nah, let's get a flying boat first. No, let yeah, flying boat. Um, so priorities, range, and reliability. At this point in time, those should be the first two uh, priorities. Okay, that's going to be expensive. It's only going to be expensive. Oh. No, I don't want that. No. Uh, scrap it. Build a fort. Build an airship base at... Uh, where is that? Italian West Coast at La Spisa. That was a mistake. I did not mean to click that, so... There we go. Largest gun size in the game. 20-inch guns are the largest. Ah, oh, man, we need better Pisani to work up. Okay, so the French have moved their fleet down here. Uh, apparently, it's not enough to stop our blockade. How many ships do they currently have down here? We are reporting four four dreadnoughts, one battlecruiser, two pre-dreads, uh, CA, and 22 destroyers. So we have that outnumbered. Um, certainly. They're definitely trying to match us more. Okay! Okay, this is going to be interesting. We get our fleet battle. And we get Russian ships with us. Okay. 
let's see how this will work out. So, Russia has graciously provided a dreadnought. Um, unfortunately, it's not well armored, but I'm pretty happy with the guns. That is an 8 13 inch gun broadside in reliable triples. So, the armor penetration table on the 13 inch quality zeros that the Russians are using. Um, I actually want to see if they have an immunity zone. I, do they? They do not have an immunity zone for their belt. However, they do have an immunity zone for their turrets from about 13,000, no, uh, 14,000 to 15,000 yards, which I assume, I assume if the French 14-inch dreadnought is in play, that immunity zone is not going to exist. If the French 13-inch dreadnoughts are in play, that immunity zone's probably going to be pretty close to the same. However, I don't know what the turret armor on the French, uh, Dreadnoughts is. Right now, for whatever reason, this ship is sailing in front of us as a core on a CL group. I don't know why, I don't know how, form as a core in Italia. Wait. Where's Italia? Oh, there's Italia. Yeah. So, Conte di Cavoir and Leonardo da Vinci. Two Leonardo da Vinci's are leading us. We have Roma and Francesco Morsini behind them, which are slightly older. And then at the rear, we have Italia. Um, I'm going to put the... You know what I'm going to do? Is I'm not going to have you form as a core on Italia. I'm going to have you form as a core on Conte di Cavoir. And then I'm going to have Italia form as a core on you. Uh, where are you? We do have the battlecruiser Lepanto in here. And she is pretty well protected. Um, as much as I would like her to lead, I think I'm going to form her up on, uh, Italia as a core. Um, you know, keeping her close together. And then you guys are going to form up on a core for Lepanto. Yes, that is correct. Uh, you guys are a core on Regina Elena. That is not a good idea. Um, that will be resorted pretty soon okay so let's see these are Bari class right are all these Bari class no that's a Nino Bixo two Baris and Nino Bixo are there you let's see you're a Bari you're a Bari you are another Bari correct yes so Salerno and uh, her sister are acting as scouts for Conte de Cavour do I want that? I think what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to have them in a screen roll for Lepanto. Or alternatively, a support roll for Lepanto, given that they can keep up. And they do, or they are going to have a bit of a destroyer escort here, I think. Actually, those guys are a screen on them. Alright, so with that in place... You are going to form up on Conte de Cavoir as a, no, as a scout. Uh, then you are going to form up on probably Italia as a support unit. Actually, you know what? You will form up on Conte de Cavoir as a support unit. Actually, no, you will form up on uh, Italia as a support unit. And then we'll move the scouts for Conte de Cavoir to a support unit when they get engaged. You are a support unit for Lepanto. You are a support unit for Regina Elena. I think you should probably be more of a support unit for Conte de Cavoir. You guys are a support unit for Encona. Where's Encona? Oh, there. Um... I'm not sure if that's the best idea or not. You guys are, what, a support for Italia. I think our fleet's relatively organized at this point. Alright, so, now we have to wait for them all to uh, sort themselves out. I'm going to temporarily move at 12 knots. Well, 11. Eleven. 
and go immediately to 21 as we have somehow, with that random move, managed to cross their T. Oh, no, wait, no, whatever that chip is, it's going away. Okay, actually, I think we have. I have no idea how we did this. Okay. Uh, Marsala is currently being shot up. We have... We're reporting a 13-inch and a 12-inch hit on that lead battleship. Okay. There you go. Another 12-inch. That's good. How soon until proper daytime? Uh, we're only about halfway through the dawn phase at the moment. All of our battleships are still forming up. So I'm probably going to... Give it just a little more time. That's got to be one of their scout CLs. They have some destroyers which are kind of trying to get at us. There's the invasion transports. These are the guys we need to protect. And right now we're formed up pretty well to stop them. Alright, that's a dreadnought. And then that's a pre-dreadnought right there. We're identifying that as a trident class. We have whatever this CA is coming at us. Uh, I don't know why. What is, what is it? Okay, that's we're reporting as a dreadnought. Um, Conti Cavoir hit by a medium shell. What shell caliber is it? We're reporting that as a six inch hit. So I hope you wouldn't stay the way you're on your BC. Don't take a torpedo. Yeah. Thankfully, I think some of my ships now have torpedo protection. Um, part of me is a little concerned about this, I don't... I actually don't think it has a good torpedo solution right now. Because if it fires a torpedo to the side, currently, our ships are going to go this way, and that torpedo is just going to sail past. Imperator Alexander III is too far back to be hit by it, and Francesco Morsini is too far forward. Now, however, it could fire a torpedo this way. So I'm going to do a small turn. We're reporting that as a Charles Martel class uh, battleship with 10 13 inch guns. So it has 11 inch turrets. So it's a little bit better protected than our uh, Russian guy over here. Um, I'm going to take manual control over you because you are not sailing on the course I want you to sail on. Talia, can I take manual control over you? Yes, I can. Please sail on the correct course. Actually, you know, this is a bad situation because of where our invasion transports are. Um, so I'm actually going to fold my fleet back this way. Charles Martel class hit. That being said, though, I do only need to win the battle. The big-ass battle. Yes, yes it is. It's an invasion battle. Um, so you turn that way. Charles Martel class hit. Good. That's the scary one. It only... I was suspicious that the thing's turrets were not as well protected as the rest of the ship. But those are still pretty well protected turrets. Yeah, that is a very well defended ship. And it's going to be a pain in the butt to knock out. Um, good news is it looks like uh, Conte de Cavoir has held up against this 14 inch shell. AI dreadnoughts all look the same. That's a, a bit. I mean, that's different from the Charles Mar Martel. Two Charles Martels, there's a bat pre dreadnought. Yashalu is a little older. Um Yashalu is not very good. So if our intel's correct, this should be all the battleships they have in the region. Whereas we are fighting six on four. The problem right now is that um they could potentially punch through to the invasion transports. However, they're currently not doing that. So I'm going to stay with the current battle. So we are reporting hits on that Charles Martel. Talia is now on fire. Um, the Panto, you need to really just get in here. So I'm going to take manual control over you. 
Let's go to 14 inch on the Trident. That's good. Uh, we've got a 13 inch on the Indom or on the, on the Indomptable, and another 13 on the Charles Martel. Um, and uh, no, okay, 13 on this one too. So this was a good round for us hitting. Uh, looks like we have taken a six inch belt extended penetrating hit. Short bus Nelsons everywhere. Yep. Damn it. That is not good. Could have been worse. Could have been worse. She's taking a lot of structural damage. But, um, not a lot else. Watch the beginning of the China one, but you didn't like it. Um, I'm trying to remember. I, I know there was some microphone issue I had with, uh, Rule the Waves 2, and I think I fixed that during the China series. Um, so... Yeah. Like, part partway through the China series, that gets fixed. Okay. As far as to live with knowing all forwards are most efficient, yeah. Okay, good. This is a good turn, although we only scored one 12 inch hit. We have turned the Indomptable around. So it's currently thinking that it wants to run away from us. However, this is still not a very good situation here, because they're going to hit our transports now. Uh, so I want you to turn around this way. I want you to turn around this way. I want you to start turning north as well. And I want you guys to start turning north, too, at 21 knots. You turn north, you turn north. So we're going to do a north turn, and then come around this way. That appears to be their two battle cruisers right there. And while I'm doing this, I'm going to order a flotilla attack just to push them away. Oh yeah, the 424 arrangement on uh, all the battleships there. That was interesting. Okay, so now we turn that way with you, that way with you, that way with you, and this way with you guys. Um, 424 means you have... Okay, uh, look up HMS Nelson. Um, put a quad turret in the forward turret slot, put a double in the second, and put a quad in the third. I think it's a really efficient design. I think... Um, quad forward and quad uh, B turret might be a little more efficient. Or the alternative is... Um... Actually, no, I don't think that's more efficient. I think the most efficient alternative would be just deleting the B turret and having uh, only the... Qu or having an 8-gun uh, quad all forward, but we don't have a B turret. But, you know, you get a lot more tactical benefit out of having the B turret. The two quad turrets with a double in between them. Yes. Two quad turrets with a double elevated. Um, beyond them. Wow, our transport's actually being shot at. That's bad. Is it hit? No, it's not hit so far. Alright, I am canceling the flotilla attack order. Alright, so their battle cruisers are sailing this way. This is a Dunkirk class. These only have 10 inch turrets. The French battle cruisers are not very good. But, you know, we have to deal with them here. Their battle line is currently retreating. Engage the BC division. Yeah. Are our transports taking hits? That one is. The t or the trailing one is, we need to defend them. Italia is on fire. How badly? On fire one. Assume, yeah, fire spreads. Please put it out. If it doesn't go out, um, I'm going to have to uh, slow the ship down and hope that that does it. Because I did look at... Uh, yeah, it's not going out. All right, Italia turn this way. We are not going to lose you to a single 10-inch shell. Go 10 knots. 
pull away from the battle and get your damn uh get, get, yeah get your damn fire out uh hold fire Hate to benefit all forward ar armament. Yeah, you came in the middle of a big fight. If you sing some files, you have to mute the mic. Yeah. Holy crap. So one of the things which happened in the C Canada campaign with Rainbow and me is, um, or Rainbow and me were doing, uh, on his stream, he lost Haida due to a single five Haida, a battle cruiser. Oh my god. Thank you, Sampa. Um, thank you, thank you for the subscription. You guys really do not need to subscribe. Or anything. But how do how am I supposed to react to these? I still don't know. But thank you. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Th thank you so much. You guys don't have to spend any money on me. But... Yeah. Okay. You know what would be nice is that donation put out the fire on Italia. You remember the carrot? And what I'm remembering is the battle cruiser Haida, which on Rainbow Stream got struck by a five-inch shell, which lit the aft catapult on fire. I started a fi fire in the aft catapult. It started at fire zero, and then the damage control teams didn't do a single thing about it, and the ship burnt down due to a single five-inch shell. It wasn't even struck by other shells after that point in time. Yeah. Well, the Canada campaign's technically not done yet. Um, yeah, no, that was a pretty fun one. Well, I mean, it's still kind of going on, but... Uh, well, I mean, Rainbow needs to get back to it. But, you know, Canada campaign's had some fun moments in it. Okay, so now their destroyers are charging us. Can we get one of his carriers? Oh, yeah. Yep, that happened. Hosho burnt down, uh... Like, two feet outside apart. I, th I think I... I went back through the live stream, and I think it was probably about ten minutes away from port. Now, as I say ten minutes away from port, you should know that when I press space, like this... I said, like this, and time ticks forward, that's a minute. Damage control when the ship is on fire. This is fine. Yep. Alright, so they are rushing us with destroyers. But we have pulled... Or we have forced both of their battle cruisers away. Fortunately, I'm having to kind of pull away at the moment, too. Come on, Italia. Get your damn fire out. Transport 5 is also on fire. You guys swerve more upwards. I think we have mostly returned or turned them around. Yeah, that transport's burning down. Do we not have any damage control tech? Oh, uh, the uh, I still think the Austro-Hungarian campaign is the best campaign of this I've done, funnily enough. That being said, though, I think the Canada campaign's been the most fun, but the Austro-Hungary one is still like the best I've run. More flashing Italian battleships in a single war. There was some stupid stuff which happened there. Canada campaign was all forms of really weird luck. Oh, not Canada. Uh, the Austro-Hungarian campaign was, like, all really just odd luck. Okay, come on, Italia. Please, put your fire out. How are your damage control teams this bad? Remember that partly? Interesting to an Italian be with a culture about it. I don't know if I did or not. It might have happened. Okay. Natalia is now being shot at. Um, pull her back a little bit behind lines. Form up here. Good news is we have them on the run. Bad news is they have managed to hit our transports, and I think we have lost one. Where is five right now? Oh, yeah, there it is. Oh, they might get it under control. Like the left-hand carrier towers. That yeah, was an interesting idea. I think I brought it back for the China campaign. I don't know. I probably won't do it this campaign. Whatever the carrier was. Oh yeah. Um. 
Ah, uh, what, what was the name? It's not Denebrice. Um, it does start with a D. Debrecen. Any land-based aircraft can see feel? Maybe. Yeah, Debrecen. Uh, Debrecen liked to go broadside. Well, Debrecen didn't broadside an enemy carrier at potato range. That was uh, Prague and Graz. Um, Debrecen uh, went off on her own without my knowledge. Watch, and then actually did gunfight a carrier, and I think also gunfought a destroyer, and didn't get punished for it. At that point in time, though, carriers didn't burn down like they do today. Good news is that Saber class is heavily damaged. Uh, bad news is Italia is still on fire. It's only a fire two. Okay, so... Those guys are still running away. Our transports are. We forced the battle cruisers to turn around. I would love to sink something here. Damn it. How bad? How bad? Flooding nine. Ooh, that. Hopefully that's not permanent. Hopefully that's not permanent. If that's permanent, it's bad. Good. It was not permanent. I can, I can deal with permanent one flooding. Okay. Honestly. Oh. Finally, Italia is getting your fire under control. Stay at 10 knots then. I was going to accelerate her, but no, stay at 10 knots. So we're shooting these guys. I think the Indomptable is going to hold up pretty well, so it's probably a little better to be shooting, like, the Charles Martel or something. Um... What is that? Corvette? Th okay, that's a destroyer we must have crippled. Italia's damage control. If the sink, if the ship sinks, the ocean will put it out. Yeah. Hopefully they can get her back under, or her fire under control. I'm going to have to accelerate her now, though. What the hell is Carlo Alberto doing all the way back here? Shouldn't you guys, you know, be at the front? You were a core on, yeah, you're a core on the Panto. Act like it. You know, in the Canada campaign, this probably got several battleships killed. Alright, we need to go back to escorting our force. Turn around north, everyone. No, we need to make sure that these transports do not get hit. We've been spotted by enemy aircraft. Italia's fire is... Okay, so it spread again, but it's been reduced again. Italia, turn up north, because everyone else is doing it at this point. Transport 5 is actually under control. Transport 5 is still up here. Or is still up at the moment. We have managed to stop their attack on the transports. Temporarily. However, are they still retreating or not? Because I'm going to sail in this direction so that I get a little bit of additional broadside into them. Italia fire extinguished. Hey, Italia, rejoin the fleet full speed. Welcome back. All right. Yeah, no, I'm still going north again. Actually, you know what? Lepanto, go 21 knots. Uh, actually, no. 19 knots. Speed of our fastest, uh, or of our slowest ship right now, because one of them's damaged and is forced to 19 knots. Uh, so they, we're currently gaining distance on them. We need to go back to escorting the transports here. Are you sure that's transport 5 and not SS Ohio? Fortunately, she is doing odd things. Okay. You know what? You guys go to... How about 23 knots? And scout out more that way. And Panto, I want you to do the same. Uh, one of our cruiser divisions, you... No, not you guys. Is it you guys? So you are a support on Conti Cavalier. You will go to a scout again. 
I think they were scouts earlier, so now they're going to be uh, scouts once again. So their fleet's currently down here. Our invasion transports are moving away. Unfortunately, they might hit, try to hit TR5, which is what I'm a little worried about. We just need to get down there, though. And I'm, I don't know where their battle cruisers are, which is the big problem right now. So I'm going to sail my CAs off in this direction and see if I can detect their battle cruisers. Will I try to push on their battleships down here? What is that? Because their battle cruisers were last spotted going off this way, and I hope that they're still going off that way. All right, Domptable's still in the lead. We are reporting heavy damage on her somehow. I don't know how. That thing's armor is pretty good. Actually, if we look at our gun penetration. Uh, so we were, looks like we were shooting from about what, six to 7,000 yards out there, or five, 5,000 yards at the lowest. Our uh, 5,000 yards, we can penetrate 15 inches of belt. Okay, then. Was it? Able to penetrate our belt? I don't know. Let's charge. Yeah. Now that being said, if I do kill one of these battleships and don't lose one of my own, and there's actually something... What What are you? That looks like a damaged battleship off there. If I can, like, sink one or two... Okay, no, that's a CL. That's probably the CL which was uh, shot up pretty significantly in that first engagement. Okay. So... The Indomptable is now being fired on. I'm going to pull you guys down to the south. Because you are out of... Or you're almost out of range of our lead formation. Yeah, now that... Now they are. Alright. Uh, form a line. Form a line. Lepanto, you cut down to the south. Actually, see if you can cut them off at the lead. Okay, the Indomptable is now running away. It's only one Javelin class charging us down. And now it's not. And it's way out of torpedo range anyway. So, yeah, Lepanto will lead. You guys will catch up and try to uh, support Lepanto behind her. Oh, they sank transport 5. They actually did it. So that CL must have just gone up and knocked her out. So we have lost a transport now. Do we have anybody shooting at our other transports here? Currently I'm not seeing so. Which is good news. Oh, we may have forced them into port. They are currently running towards port. So chase them down. If we can if we can keep them in port, that's good. All right, no, they're coming back around. Lepanto, go broadside, you go broadside, you go broadside. And then you go broadside to Talia. Okay, we are scoring hits on the Trident class. Or we did score a hit on it. So now, they're very much wanting to engage in a broadside action again. How many yards out are we currently? Lepanto, you are currently... Let's see. You are firing at... How many yards out is this? No, that's not going to matter. Details... I hit chance details. Uh, 13... Yeah, 13,000... 1,300. Or 13,300. Um, so you can only get through about 10 inches of belt and one and a half inch of deck. So she does have an immunity zone against Lepanto at this range. We probably want to actually get closer. Now, that being said, even though she has an immunity zone, there is stuff like... Um, Uh, her, uh, what was I going to say? Belt extended. Those have got to be the battlecruisers coming back in. 
hit the Riachalu class, which is going to be better. Um, however, with the battle cruisers closing in, I think we're going to want to do a turn to the north like this. So I'm going to start that turn right now with Lepanto. And I'm going to order you guys to turn this way. You turn this way. You turn this way. Because now we don't want to get into a trap here. But, you know... We need, we need to be acting as a shield between us and our transports. Like how you will do the superstructure when designing a ship. Yeah, usually do it. Not as much with, like, destroyers, but, you know, battleships I do like doing that for. As you can tell. I'm also trying to gradually improve them over time. Okay, yeah, a lot of our battleships are needing to clean their grates. Alright, good news is the Battlecruiser Division has decided that they do not want to engage us. So I'm going to move... Or I'm going to readjust my forces so that they are turning this way again. You guys go 23 knots. You are currently at 23 knots. Okay. And see if we can force them into port. Actually, you know what? If we can force them into port and they actually do decide to go into port, then the battle cruisers are off over here doing their own thing. We could attempt to cut off the battle cruisers and sink them. The other thought is maybe we bleed down their escorts, let their escorts go into port and then hit their battleships hard um, with that. Okay. What's your max speed? 18 knots right now. Actually, Leonardo da Vinci, okay, yeah, you're still flooding one. That is, uh, not great. But it looks like it was actually a superstructure hit, which caused the speed loss. Uh, Splinter's perforate uptakes isn't good, and then the 13 inch, which caused the, uh, minor flooding. Okay. What are their battle cruisers doing? So that's, that's the Dunkirk. If you want to run her down, that's fine. Leonardo da Vinci took a penetrating hit. Okay, interesting. We kind of have him up in this weird area right here. We don't really have him trapped, per se. But... No, it's still not bad. How damaged is the Dunkirk? Only light. Okay. Uh, cut around to this side. You do it too. You do it too. You do it too. So now they can freely get into port. And I hope that they take this opportunity to do so. Now, Italia is probably not the greatest ship to uh, be leading. She's not going to be able to take a lot of damage. Uh, the Leonardo da Vinci keeps getting shot. Which is not good. To have all the damage be on the same vessel. Does Italia start taking more hits at this point? We are starting to land more hits. Actually, you guys go up to 26, and you'll go up to 26 knots as well. And see if we can get your guns in range. Oh, I think we scored... Yeah, okay, we scored a 14-inch on the Indomptable. 14-inch negative one from Italia. Uh, what is her gun data? She's shooting at how many yards? 12,000... Or yeah, 12,000 yards... I don't think she can get through the armor. Hitting the Trident class, though, that is going to be effective. Right. Actually, Italia, kind of pull back that way, probably. Uh, 
It would be really nice to sink one of these ships, though. What is Regina Elena being shot by? I think she is being shot by some of those. Uh, I'm going to order a flotilla attack. Actually, you know what? Now might not be the best time. Okay, we are scoring a lot of hits on all these guys. Um, it looks like the Corbet and the Trident are going back into port. They have gone into port. Unfortunately, our transports are here. Alright, time for, for a flotilla attack right now. Panto, Peritor Alexander, Regina, Elena, go that way. Do you plan on playing Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts when the campaign comes out? Uh... I do, I do. I will say. Actually, you know what? Okay, transports are now fleeing. Now, the good news is, right now, we have them both outnumbered and out-destroyed. So, two of them are turning around. Yeah, they're turning around. Good. Cancel the flotilla attack order right now. Talia took a hull hit. Unfortunately, they are outrunning our lead, our main division here. Turn north, guys. Now, this has definitely forced them back. As much as Indomitable is taking damage. Um, the move we have made has definitely been a good one here. And it has managed to keep our invasion transport safe for the moment. While we are able to continue pouring fire into these guys. So, Lepanto, you can only go that speed. You guys can still reach your full speed at the moment. Turn around and chase them. Flotilla attack right now. What are you guys on? Your support for her? I'm going to order you as a support for uh, Kanti Kevoir at this point. And one good hit on their BB. That would be nice. One good hit on one of these would be good. Uh, we are taking hits. Hopefully not really going through. We are running out of ammunition, though. Although that's the Russian ship running out of ammunition, because the AI does not build their battleships with enough ammo. Come on, good hit. Destroyers are pulling in. Okay. Charles Martel and the Indomptable have turned back towards us. I'm going to see if we can get a little bit more of a broadside going. Oh, they have just turned into our destroyers. Lepanto with two disabled turrets. Now she doesn't have any disabled turrets. Do note, oh, early triples are not very reliable. Come on, one good hit. One good hit right here. Look at this. Come on. You guys can do it. Right? Right? Nope, they cannot do it. <laughs> Good news is, though, we are continuing to shoot them. And our destroyers are now blocking their path into port. Okay. Right here, right now, this is the time to get those torpedo hits. Talia, you are close. You guys are close. Come on. We're at close range to all these guys. And you can't do it. Actually, you know what? We have forced them directly into the destroyers again. They don't have an out right now. At least not any out, which is good at the moment. 
Uh, swerve north, swerve north. Come on, some soldier on land starts shooting an Italian DD with his rifle. Yep. Look at how close we are. Oh, we have Indomptables T crossed at close range. And with destroyers right next to her. Hey! That's a torpedo! We have now fired a torpedo at these ships. I don't know which one did it, but one of our ships did. Um, you guys are going to have to cut around that way. You're going to have to cut around this way. Wow, most of our destroyers are now running away. Ah, uh, it missed. That torpedo completely missed. Oh my god. We cannot hit, or we cannot torpedo this thing successfully. We have poured a lot of fire into it, but yeah, look at what our destroyers have done! Um... Honestly, temporarily pull away. I gotta torpedo them with BB again. Basically. Nice shot! Nice shot! Nice shot! That's one French dreadnought down. Nice shot. Uh, that was Imperator. That was the Russian battleship! The Russian battleship just flash fired the Charles Martel. Wasn't even. Wasn't even my own. Russian battleship comes in here, flash fires the one of the French dreadnoughts. The Indomptable is currently caught out. This Charles Motel probably has the best chance of surviving. See? Why? Why? <laughs> why? I mean, I kind of foresaw that coming, but it's like, why are we not firing torpedoes? Why are we not firing torpedoes at this thing? I guess I'm allied with the Russians. Um, can we detach Roma? Detach her at this point, yep. Pull her off at 8 knots. Conti Kevor is finally launching a damn torpedo. Come on, is that a hit? <clears throat> How are we so bad at this? Okay. Turn up to the north. Roma limits flooding. Good. Thankfully, like of all the things here which could go or could go wrong, at least it's not bad weather. I'm thinking about manually just bringing my destroyers in at this point. They're this dumb. Why are you chasing a Durandal class destroyer? No, get back here. You have battleships to kill. Seriously, guys. Seriously, are you this incompetent? Who's firing a torpedo? Mechie is at. Okay, that's risky. Okay, that could have gone a lot worse. Oh god, what is Carlo Alberto doing? You should be in line ahead, actually, you two. Carlo Alberto is, like, there. Hey, um, I mean, you're playing as the Italians. They aren't known for their competence. Yeah, that is true. Oh, Roma's uh, flooding is under control. That's good. You know what? At this point, I I'm getting to the point where I'm thinking about just using Conte de Cavoir as the torpedo herself. Nope, that's good. There we go. We got a good torpedo hit now. All right, so you swerve that way. You go this way. Shoot. You can't actually see the Charles Martel. Oh, your ammunition supplies are probably gone. Well, that... Indomptable's down. Indomptable is sinking. We have managed to knock out the most powerful French dreadnought, which is stronger than any of ours. It is now sinking. I actually want to see. Um, okay, strongest dreadnought in the world right now is probably magnificent. Or these things are pretty good, too. Um, where's, yeah, okay, the British have better ones. Does the U.S. have better ones? Yeah, U.S. has better ones at this point. Um, or about equivalent ones. Yeah, no, they have better ones. But yeah, that was a strong battleship. That was definitely the strongest battleship in the theater. 
8 uh, times 16 by 1917. Yeah! 1917. Alright, so now everyone has to turn around and try to hit the Charles Martel as best as they can. You know what? Honestly, I'm just gonna ease you guys. <laughs> Look at this poor battleship, just with everything closing in on it from all sides. <laughs> uh, go for the Charles Martel, please. You did not need to do that, but okay. Is it dead? Confirmed kill on the Charles Martel. That is three French battleships gone. Everyone go back to AI control at this point. Uh, Roma, I am going to actually order you to rejoin with this division. BB is pretty much saying, well, we're boned. Yep. Every yeah, everyone go back to AI control now. Um, actually, hold on. We still have battle cruisers to contend with. Uh, so Roma, I'm gonna still kind of keep you sailing this way at slow speed. Uh, maybe at 12 knots. You guys can now go 18 knots. Well, that's the French Navy neutered. Yep, that's probably guaranteeing a victory in this war at this point. So now we have the two Dunkirk class. I am going to stop it with the um, flotilla attack right now. So all we have to do at the present moment is defend Roma and the invasion transports from the Dunkirk class. Because the French battle line, part of it retreated and part of it... Uh, it's not a trade ship attack. This is a landing invasion. We are trying to get invasion transports down here. Oh, Leonardo da Vinci limits flooding. What was her flooding on? It was on one. Oh, she has no more flooding. Good. Damage control. Thank you so much. Um, you guys are going to move probably at 14 knots now. Now, we do have to deal with the Dunkirks before they get to the invasion transports at all. Go back to squad max, actually. And cut in this way. Roma, cut in this way. Uh, that's Talia. What are you doing back there? I don't know. Where's Lepanto? There's Lepanto. Hello, Lepanto. Squad Max, you can go 25 knots. Force the Dunkirks away before they can do anything. Please. Yep, okay, they're running. Good. Alright, Lepanto, you go back to AI control. Alright, you guys can go back to cruise speed. The Kirks have now been for forced away. Unfortunately, uh, we're gonna s still struggle to get anything ashore. Okay. So I want Roma with the invasion transports. Um, I want to keep her safe. If I can. And... Oh, I... Hopefully we rescued survivors. I think we did. So, I don't know what the Dunkirks are trying at this point. They're trying something. Yeah, some of our ship's stokers are exhausted. But, you know, we're only running at 14 knots right now. All we need to do is protect the invasion transports, though. I mean... Even if the battle timer runs out at this point, we've won. Oh, our RCAs are getting shot up a bit. Or shot at a bit, not shot up. So, Audace is very damaged. Oh yeah, they're still sitting down there doing stuff. And if they do decide to come back up, you know, we'll force them down. So that f four French BBs dunk, or is it three? Three. Three confirmed down. Well, that, actually, no, it's only three down. Charles, Mar Both Charles Motels and Indomptable. Uh, 
if we look at the French battleship list currently, that leaves Richelieu as Richelieu as the only survivor. Charles Martel, Colbert, and Indomptable are all sunk. They're half you're only halfway through the battle timer. Yep. Um, they did have two of the pre-dreadnoughts here. I think Trident, Trident and Corbet. Um, and both of them are still around, and plus their, or their uh, battle cruisers are still around. But this is a massive victory for us. Okay. Turn back up north. Make sure Roma doesn't do anything stupid. Rejoin with the invasion transports here. How fast are the invasion transports moving? They are going 12 knots. So Roma going 12 knots is allowing them to, or allowing her to keep up with them. She can do 16 right now. Um, but you know, I don't want her to do 16. Hey, nuclear! Uh, glad to see you here. Uh, you kind of missed the main part of the battle. Yeah, that's a, that's a result I'm very happy with. To say the least, can't wait for the late game where your navy is 20 ships and 90% of your budget is spent on like 50 airfields. How much did I miss? Well, again, that's what you missed. Ah, uh, the Kirks are coming back. Threaten them with the battleships. That's the good thing about these uh, French battle cruisers is that the moment that they get threatened, um, they're just turning around. Oh, hey, they're actually coming back up north. Nope. They're like... Wait, no, this is a bad idea. You know, we don't want the transports to scatter. Isn't there a chance of uh, ships becoming a museum ship? Uh, if you scrap ships, then some ships can occasionally become museum ships. I don't know if battle stars are needed or not. Um, I think it is a little bit random. But you can only get one museum ship at a time. And, again, you have to be scrapping the ships first to do it. Alright. Hello there, Dunkirk class. Yeah, you do not want to fight these. These are battleships. You don't know their am ammunition situation. Okay, it is going to be night now. Alright, for... Yes to all. Yes to all. Rescue survivors... So, while well, visibility is decreasing, we are going to regroup with Roma. Yeah, Roma has regrouped. I am going to start moving at 12 knots now. Okay, we have rescued survivors from those two ships. Good. I don't know if we got any from the other Charles Martel, but it is certainly possible that we did. Um, so now we're just going at 12 knots, the same speed as the transports, and that should hopefully keep Roma pretty safe. For Arthur you deserve to be a museum ship. Sunk in the 50s, charging alone against uh, three British battle cruisers. Yeah. I, th I think, honestly, Nan Chen in the China campaign was a greater loss given how long that ship served and how much that ship did, and to have her sunk by airstrikes in the very last battle of the campaign. Oh, that was painful. Kind of poetic, but still painful. Okay, so we are going to hit the coastline here pretty soon. And then they're probably going to turn this way. Now, right now I am a little bit worried about mines, but it's still very early in the war. We're only two months in. So... You know, hopefully it's zero to one ship hitting a mine. And hopefully it's one of the ones which is which that's not super bad on. But you know, that whole oh god we're gonna hit a mine, oh god we're gonna hit a mine is just currently stuck on my currently stuck in my mind. Um pun intended. No, if you do don't build mine layers. Actually, I should build mine layers, because they lay mines for me. These are enemy mines. You did that, your own ships kept running into mines. Yep. Well, 
well, it was a 600 ton destroyer, you know. You know, we need to get these traders in, or these uh, troop transports in, and then we're done. Playing Russian campaign with your friend? Yeah, that's a lot kept pacing us off. Yeah, ships do hit mines a lot. Objective accomplished. Sail up north. We're done. Fastest available. Okay, you are gonna sink. You've hit a mine in the exact location of the other ship. Why were you over there? I don't know. Okay, you have somehow survived. Pissed us off. We've raged too. Yeah, okay, yeah, you've definitely seen me rage, though. Uh, uh, the China, Japan, and Canada campaigns have had a lot of rage in them. Uh, the Austria campaign a little bit. Particularly with the war with the British. That was a really difficult war. The Italians might as well mine the Kaiser swimming pool. <laughs> yeah, at the point it got to, yep. Okay, time is going to elapse. The invasion is successful. We lose an additional destroyer due to a torpedo, but we get out. Can you start up a new Chinese campaign? Maybe at some point. Oh, I don't know. I don't... I usually run one primary campaign at once, and if I'm doing something with someone else, then I'll run that campaign. Uh, the China... I kind of want to stay out of uh, the Asian region for now, given how well that's gone for the past two campaigns. Um... Yeah. Yeah, it's not gone well. So, uh, I'm going to go through the... Actually, you know what? I need to be right back. And then we're going to go through the damage report. U.S. meme ships win. Uh, does the armored cruiser campaign count? Because I did do the whole U.S. armored cruiser campaign. 7 times 4 16-inch battleships. Yeah, that could be done sometime. Yeah, be right back, though.
All right, I am back. Let's get rid of that screen and see what the chat has to say. Okay, we have Sweden as a faction in this game. Uh, I think there is actually a Sweden mod. Um, it's like a Swedish Empire sort of mod, but it is there. Um, in this game, you would play it already. Uh, I'm trying to actually think of what nations I haven't streamed yet. I haven't live streamed France, Germany... I have played Germany offline, though, and have had some really good, uh, fun German battles. Uh, Britain is one I haven't, uh, done on stream yet. Because Canada's a mod. I haven't done CSA, or Confederate States of America, which is in the game. Because I've done, what, China, Aust or Austria-Hungary, Russia, America, China, Japan, and then the modded Canada. now Italy. Okay, so let's go through the actual damage report here. So Indomptable took 35 heavy hits, or no, not 35, 80 heavy hits, 35 medium hits, and 16 light hits, as well as 3 torpedo hits. Some of these were obviously after she was sinking, though. Um, as you can already see at, you know, early in the battle, uh, at close range, we are scoring some hits. We do get a belt penetrating hit. Oh, history lesson. Play as Brazil, build the best battleship in the world. Crew, crew mut mutinies due to poor conditions. Government forces you to retire all BBs. Play as Brazil, battle starts with a single DD, has 20mm gun misfires, and somehow hits the magazine, sinking the ship. Now Austria Hungary is invading because they have a decent navy because the AI wars don't exist in the game. Oh, wow. Here's a challenge. 1920 Germany start. That's it. I have done it in uh, uh, single player, and that is actually really. I, I, I did. When I did that in single player, I actually had one of the battles there and showed it off in uh, the Rule of Waves 2 Discord, like, play by play. And that was fun. That campaign's still stuck there. I need to do more of it. But it's a fun campaign. In the history lesson, it was a joke. Yep. So it was scoring hits on us. We were scoring some hits on it. But it looks like, yeah, we were struggling to penetrate it at the long range. Um, do you see a fire here? Yeah, okay. Fire started. 13-inch um, hit to the secondary battery, but they got it under control. So I'll press them into a coal bunker. So we're still at pretty long range here, I think. Uh, you know, 8,000, 9,000 yards. Um, 10,000. So the range is increasing again. I know this took a while. It launched a torpedo at the Carlo Alberto class. Engine room hit. Is the fire spreading? Reduced by damage control. So... 13-inch belt extended penetrating hit. That's good. Another one. So we disabled the turret there. Hit the submerged... Okay, we hit the port broadside uh, submerged torpedo flat. And probably destroyed it. Um, I don't remember which way port is. I think port is left. So on this side. That torpedo fired at the Ca Carlo Alberta. Did that hit our... Yeah, that must have. Yeah, that was the one which hit our, uh, which hit Roma. That had to be the one which hit Roma, unless it fired another one. Actually, wait, no, starboard broadsides. So this side's destroyed. Yeah, port broadside was still active at that time. Um, torpedo flat hit. Hit. High speed increase is flooding. Yeah, there it is. Launches torpedo at Roma. Do you get paid while well, doing YouTube videos? Uh, no. No, I don't. I, none of my videos are monetized. Um, technically, my Twitch is now monetized, but I actually need to make like $100 on Twitch before I start making any money from it. So um, I, have, I, have, I have to get $100 first before that happens. So currently, I'm not making any money off of Twitch, but, you know, I'm starting to build up money on Twitch and will eventually hit that threshold. But I don't encourage people to donate me or donate to me. Donate me? What the hell? Yeah, I'm just, I'm just gonna donate no name to this uh, random charity organization. He's the best donation. Well, to the last, and then the British cruiser, or Brazilian cruiser, Bahia, wasn't a DD. Oh my god, they lost a cruiser due to a self-inflicted magazine detonation. So yeah. So she was flooding at this point, because we were hitting her at extreme close range, so her belt extended. Because you the aircraft target practice, range of 20 mm guns, one of them shot it down back, and the depth charges on the stern. 
than it would be with 250 subscribers. Yeah, it's not monetized. None of my videos are monetized yet. I don't know if I ever will. Maybe at some point now that I do have stuff set up on Twitch. But they're mostly just live streams. I try to keep them shorter to the two, two-ish hour uh, length. A little bit past that usually now. Because I do have the be right backs and the title screen thing. Um, okay, four off tall hits. That would cause some flooding. So we're scoring the sick or light hits on stuff. Man, look, look at, like, I mean, as much as I'm saying this, look at how quickly this is going on. You know, each of these is a single minute, and we're scoring multiple hits per minute at this point because we're that close. Oh, we knocked out. Or it looks like Leonardo da Vinci and Conte de Cavour knocked out or destroyed these two turrets on the same turn, or on the same minute. So she was flooding heavily at this point, it looks like. But it doesn't look like there was a... It was just belt extended hits. I don't think that she had been hit by a torpedo at that point. Uh, pass her hit there. Still... Oh, hall pass her hit. That would have caused more flooding. Her, she was on fire. Fire 3, I would suspect. For a tall hit. It was flooding 454. So she's already at 454 flooding here because we're hitting her so much. And then Bravi scores the torpedo hit. And that causes her to sink. And she takes two more from Augustino Bertini, which I think... No, she's, she survived. Okay. And that's the rest of the hits. Ah, <sighs> now we can finally go on to Charles Martel. Which... Okay, so she was initially taking 5-inch hits. 13-inch from Alexander III and 12-inch from Roma. One of her torpedo flats was destroyed pretty quickly, it looks like, in those uh, opening shots. She's getting shot up more, mostly by secondary guns here. A couple 10-inches. Nothing too major at this point. So now we're in the close range fight. And uh, she's actually getting hit by proper 14 and 13 inch shells. And yep. 1340. 13 inch hit. Turret flash fire to this one. Ship blows up. BB Alexander. Or Imperator Alexander the third AP. So now that Al Algeria is being invaded. What's next? Um, either Tunisia or Corsica. So Colbert. The last ship we sank. Um, yeah. So she was taking six inch hits initially in that initial engagement. So we were scoring some 13s there and a 12. We're actually scoring some uh, heavy hits on her earlier on. But it doesn't look like we were doing too much. I think 12 inch 4 aft tall hits. That would have caused a little bit of flooding. Um, the superstructure hit. More 12 inch, which just weren't penetrating. That. These are some decent hits here when we're at about 5,000 yards. That that That's a nice set of hits. So she had some flooding then, and her speed increased it. Uh, Roma destroyed one of her turrets. She takes uh, multiple 10-inch hits, a 13-inch hull pass through, which probably did something. Super sure hit, belt extended, splinters perforate uptake. That would have slowed her down. Form the Roman Empire, maybe. That's the goal! Uh, lots of 10-inch more 13. Uh, fire spreads from this hit. So she was on fire at this point. Her flooding, she still has some flooding. Uh, the range is in the 4,000, 5,000 yard range still. So this is probably when we have them all surrounded. Um, yeah, there we go. 10 inch fire spreads. Carl Arboto from 484 yards away. So she got pretty close. Um, oh, 13. Two turrets destroyed within that same salvo with an additional turret disabled in the same minute. Her, she was on fire four. Wow. Uh, she detaches after taking multiple more hits. Um, six inch shell burst limited by coal bunker. 13 inch turret disabled. And then a 13 inch submerged torpedo flat hit. And that sinks the ship. Ship sinking. 1401. Hold on. Hold on. She takes two... T or... Okay, so she takes two torpedoes, one from Venezia, one from Bravi, and at 4.13, a full 13 minutes after she began sinking, she f is finally detached, and then takes a torpedo from Zavidny. <laughs> Actually, multiple sinking and detached there, so she was taking additional hits and additional torpedo hits. Uh, Corsica would be your choice close to air power becoming a thing, an airfield that close to main med ports, a French is crippling. Yeah, that is true. So Roma, 
Um, she got hit by two heavy hits, so 13-inch belt penetrating hit. And then disabled. That was at 6,000 yards, so yeah, it's believable. And then got torpedoed by Indomptable. Got the flooding under control pretty quickly. And survived. Tante de Cavoir took a lot more heavy hits. She was much more the focus of Indomptable. Actually, one thing I want to check. What, what quality were Indomptable's guns? 14-inch negative ones. Okay. So not as good as I was thinking. Um, actually, these were not as good as I was thinking. These are only 13-inch negative ones. Which means that... We have better guns than the French, so in reality, it was probably true that a quantity or that the quantity Cavoir class was is, is it quantity Cavoir class or Leonardo da Vinci class? I don't know. One of the two um, is about was probably about actually maybe slightly inferior to um, Indomptable, but not as not by as much as I thought. Uh, so quantity Cavoir. Look at her damage. She was taking some 6-inch hits. 14-inch. Yeah, 4 aft hull hits. Oh, wait, no, there's a 14-inch hit. Why was I not paying attention? So, secondary battery hits were the first couple. Then 4 aft hull hits. Um, belt extended. Engine room hit non-penetration. Belt extended there. Uh, another belt extended. And then a turret got disabled. And that was about it. Uh, Leonardo da Vinci took 7 heavy hits. So which one caused the flooding? Okay, so it is the Leonardo da Vinci class and rather than the Conti Cavar. I think it was originally going to be the Conti Cavar class and then um, I changed it because I needed to change part of the design. Um, so I didn't build the Conti Cavar. Instead built Leonardo da Vinci with Conti Cavar as the second one. So she took a 12-inch uh, perforate or Splendor's perforate uptakes. That was from a pre-dreadnought. So here we get all the 13-inch shells. So okay, 4 aft tall hit from Colbert caused that. Takes a couple more. Hull pass through. Yeah, she's largely getting shot up by Col Colbert. It looks like she's holding up pretty well, though, to the fire. Or to that uh, fire, other than that one penetrating hit. Italia. This was the old... Old, uh... Pre-dread. So she takes a 10-inch hit from Corbet, which starts a fire. <laughs> um, and then she has to be out of the fight for this long, just to get that fire extinguished. So for about two hours looks like yeah yeah she was on fire for nearly two hours there before her crew finally got it under control and then 14 inch 13 inch hits secondary battery four aft tall hits it does say it's an old italian dreadnought she might have gone obsolete i might have to send her in for a rebuild right now okay so this destroyer was the one which took a torpedo from a sub uh so it was already pretty damaged unfortunately uh, multiple 6-inch and 3-inch hits, looks like, from Seal Admiral Cecily, as well as, uh, or Cecil, as well as, uh, Indomptable. And eventually she takes the torpedo from a sub and dies. Rich, or Richelieu took a single 13-inch superstructure hit, damaged the bridge, falls out of line, and just went into port. Uh... And that was part of the same battle division as the other two. I don't know why she went into port and the other ones didn't. That's a little odd. Uh, Dukens, we did score three heavy hits on. So we did actually get penetrations here and disabled her machinery briefly, but she got it fixed and was still able to move at full speed. Uh, Forbin. So Forbin took... Yeah, Forbin was that uh, one we have originally identified as a CA, which got closer to our battle line. Then we fired a lot at it and hit it, you know, with multiple 6-inch shells, 13-inch, and two 12-inch shells. But... Uh, kind of let her live. She did fire a torpedo at us. I was right. Um, Angelo Bassini uh, took the mine hit and sank. Trident got into port, so she actually took seven heavy hits. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, five inch superstructure hit, four inch four aft hull hit. How the hell was... Wait, how the hell was Richelieu worth more damage points than Trident? Because we only scored like one hit on Richelieu. <laughs> I think. So we scored some 14-inch, some 13-inch hits on her. One of those started a fire from Conti Cavoir. They brought it under control. She takes a couple more and goes into port. Now let's just double-check that. Richelieu. Yeah, single heavy hit on her. Single heavy hit. It did knock out her bridge, but... Oh, imagine being the captain of that ship and just... The captain and the bridge crew are the only ones in this battle who died on that vessel. 
everyone else lives, but we just... All we did was we basically decapitated the command of that vessel, and that's the only hit we scored on it. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, Trident we were looking at, uh, Transport 5 is the last ship which sank. Um, she was scuttled by the light cruiser Trout, or protected cruiser Trout. Uh, annoyingly, because I thought Trout was far enough away, but nope. Admiral Cecily, or Cecile, she, so she launched a torpedo at a destroyer. Took a couple six inch hits, nothing much. She just launched a, another torpedo at a destroyer. Uh, wow, this French destroyer uh, somehow got into port. Uh, so she took a six inch far tall hit, two 13 inch hits, and then a four inch hit. And just limped back home. Lepanto uh, didn't actually take that much. Took a 13 inch and a 14 inch hit. Uh, one of them didn't penetrate. Looks like one of them did penetrate, but didn't do anything because the coal bunker didn't penetrate the coal bunker. So that's good. Dawson took a six or six inch hit. She took a six inch hit, which disabled a turret. That single six inch hit was more damaging than either the or than the 13 inch and 14 inch hit scored on her. Yeah. Odd days took a couple six inch hits. Uh, we managed to get her away. Saber was a. Uh, French destroyer, we got, looks like some five and six inch hits on her, fire spreads, but she got it under control and limped back home. Uh, Mortier? Mortier or Mortier? I don't know. Uh, Mortier? That sounds terrible. No. A Mortier? I don't know. Fr France has a lot of letters they don't pronounce, but I don't know specifically how to pronounce it. I should, well, I would say I should know, but I don't. I don't know. I've learned a tiny bit of French, but I haven't learned that. Super trigger hit, critical hit, far tall hit, and she survived. And she is, there's lucky after taking 13 other hits, yep. So this was our destroyer, which got mined, which uh, somehow got it under control. Good job. Uh, okay, this was our other Roma class battleship. So she only took, she took a 3 inch hit and then two 14 inch hits, which just didn't do anything. Metki was a Russian. Destroyer, she takes the three inch, three inch engine room hit belt, six inch hit superstructure. So these are the secondaries from the battleships when we're doing that attack. She does launch a couple torpedoes. I think she scores a hit. I, I think she scores a hit, but it's already sunk, already sinking. Um, who got the hit on uh, Indomptable again? Who do I credit with the kill on Indomptable? Torpedo hit's gonna be right down here. That is Bravi. Okay. That's not Metki. Metki was different. Corbet took a single 13 inch hit, which also destroyed the bridge. Just saying, we managed to, uh. This is the second French uh, pre dreadnought we have managed to score a single hit on, which killed just the bridge crew and nobody else. So that that's uh that's two very dead uh French ship captains now. And all the crew survived. Uh we scored or they scored a fourteen inch hit on Regina Elena and it did not penetrate. I will take that. Uh Carlo Alberto took looks like uh what, three or two six inch hits and ten inch hit from Corbet. Ah, yeah, we're getting to the end of this. Marsala, one of our Bari class cruisers. Yep, a few hits. I'll just go through these last ones quickly. It's not going to be that intriguing. Uh, just to have them up on screen. And I do this just in case I ever want to like write an AAR or um, simulate a battle or something from this later down the line so I can just accurately describe what happened during the battle. Having all this information present is uh, pretty nice. Now, one thing I should do more and haven't done enough is... Show the ship tracks. So, actually, you know what? I should probably do big ships here. And maybe all. So this confusing mess is something I can ex or uh, hopefully distinguish later. But now we have that info. Alright, that is a good battle. And I'm probably going to try to do one more today. Yep. We, we gained two prestige. 
I will gladly take that. And we land in Algeria. Battle of Algeria? The Battle of Algiers. I will take that. New docks completed. Nice. We're close to mastering 5 plus centerline turrets. Okay, then. So. Corsica will be our new invasion target. Um, base over... Or... In terms of, uh... What, base over... No. No, area... No. Coastal fortifications, yeah. One turn away from three airship bases, and then three turns away from others. Which will give us some spotting capability. Part of me wants to halt Benedito Brin for a month. Um... And it looks like we have repaired Italia, Roma, Francesco Morsini. Well, not Francesco Morsini. Francesco Morsini's still out. Leonardo da Vinci, Conte, or Conte di Cavour, and Lepanto. Better Pisani is still probably one to two months out of actual proper service at this point in time. How did we repair Roma so quickly, but not Francesco Morsini? That's a little odd. But yeah, no. Wait, France is blockaded? Russia's blockading France. <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> France has put so many of their ships in the Mediterranean that Russia's now blockading them, and now they've just lost three of their capital ships in the Mediterranean. Oh my god, they got another Indomitable done. Damn it, France! Damn it! I was really hoping she wouldn't complete that quickly. But yeah, now France is going to have to pull out, and we're probably going to be given free reign over the med. On the other hand, uh, I think Italia has to be rebuilt. So if we rebuild her in Britain, she can get a director. If we rebuild her in a local yard, she can't. Do I want to? Is Britain Britain's still friendly with us, and we only have one sub, so nothing's going to go wrong with that. I think it is a good idea to rebuild her in Britain. French DD is lucky after taking 13 inch hits. Your luck is amazing. Alright. Yeah, rebuild Italian Britain. And that should help us uh, unlock director technology as well. And actually, I'm going to accelerate her. So that we try to get it quick or done quickly. Part of me wants to try to scrap the Napoleons. Part of me doesn't. Actually, you know what? We have such an advantage now. Alright, we can wait a while. Yep. That was what I was worried about. I'm saving the Marco Polos for our early carrier conversion at the moment. So we can have an early uh, experimental aircraft carrier. Every time you sink a BB, the enemy launches another one of the same class. Yeah! That happens a lot. Uh, next turn. Convoy attack, battle, and support a land combat. Yeah, let's go. Oh, hey! Allied ships join, and it's only destroyers. Of course it's only destroyers, because there's no way to balance this otherwise. Because France doesn't have anything in the region but destroyers anymore. Actually, you know what? The interesting thing with the blockade in both this region and in France is that I don't think they can move ships between the theaters currently. At least not easily. So, with that in mind, it is very likely that uh, France cannot actually pull their ships out of the region. Okay, um, awesome. So, their destroyers are coming back up. We are now swarming their merchants and not doing enough. Okay, we're doing some stuff, certainly. In this, uh, chaos. Why did you do that? Why are you that dumb? I don't know how you survived that currently, but apparently you have. Okay! Bravi, that was a really good torpedo hit. I'm assuming that was you, yeah. Holy crap, that's Bravi. Good job. Okay. We're still cutting in amongst the merchants. And still managing to hit a number of them. 
looks like. Unfortunately, our destroyers are getting caught in amongst them right now in this uh, absolutely chaotic battle. Honestly, it might be good to retreat here soon. Oh, God. They were right there. Spun. Oh, they're just suddenly right there. Pull away. I think they have defended the remaining merchants. How many did we need to sink? We needed to sink 600, and we lose that destroyer. That's annoying. Yep, we lost a second destroyer too. It is going to be nighttime now. Yes to all. Rescue survivors. Good news is those merchants are coming back up. Actually, no, it's not going to be nighttime. I thought I saw the colors change. I did not. Um, nope, their destroyers are still down there. I think we're going to lose that one too. Ah, oh, damn it. Yeah, we're losing way too much of this formation. Good news is we have accomplished our objective. Bad news is, um, you know, it has cost us... Oh, God, how? That was a lucky-ass shot. Oh, damn it. Um, just fucking run it through at this point. You know what? General retreat for the force. Order disengagement. Yep, go home. Oh my god. Who's our lead ship? I don't know who our lead ship is. Run away! I think that's the entire Italian destroyer formation gone. The Russian destroyers are now running away. Yeah, this is a loss. This is a definite loss. Because we don't have a... Or, yeah, we're not going to have enough escorts after this. This is bad. New DDs are manned by assholes. They're actually chasing us. See if we can divert a little bit this way. And get out of sight of them. Yeah, I think that Russian destroyer is gone. Just run. Just keep running. Get out of there alive. Yeah, nope. Oh my god, yeah. So we did attack the convoy pretty successfully, and then all of our ships died. And those were my losses, largely, as well. Okay, so it looks like, uh... That one's gonna be able to get away. Maybe the rest. Ah, no, the Russian one's still being hunted. Come on. Just time run out, please. Or please, you guys, just go away. Stop hunting them down. Go at cruise speed. Yeah, ah, almost. Go back up to fast and available. I feel like this is baseball's reference. I think it is. There we go, it's over. Yeah, that pain is over. So, we sank the French destroyer Cogni of the Sabre class with a single torpedo from uh, Bravi. And it went down. We lost this destroyer due to multiple foreign chits, and it sank. Anything is Gunner's mate, first class Philip asshole. I haven't seen the movie. It's it's a good movie. I've seen it. Oh yeah, this one rammed the merchant, launched a torpedo, and then got hit by multiple foreign shells and just sank. Um, Carlo Mirabello took a lot of. She took 11 foreign chits before going down. 
you know, she was a 600 tonner. I don't think we actually got our 900 tonners here. I think we only got our 600 tonners. So of course we are at a disadvantage. Yeah, France original points is double ours, it looks like. Because they were getting these 700 ton destroyers with three 4 inch guns. Well, as we were stuck largely with 600 ton destroyers. All right, your fires rage out of control. Um, I think I skipped this one. You just took some four inch hits and sank. So it looks like we were able to hit about or take about four six inch hit, or four 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 inch hits and sink. Um, this one took a torpedo from a Kutlis, and then I'll just go through the merchants here. This one rammed our destroyer. <laughs> Because of course it did. That one took two torpedoes. Just three light hits and it sank. One torpedo hit and it sank. It would have been really nice to have won this battle, I will say. But nope. Our destroyers just got wrecked. Alright, now we're through the transports. Let's go to... Uh, yeah, these were 700 tonners. So, 4 inch, it survived. Yeah, a lot of 4 inch hits on that one, it survived. Took some 4 inch hits and survived. Oh, that was one of ours. So, yeah, Kudlis was the one which hit our, or torpedoed ours successfully. Um, you know, ultimately, they just had more modern destroyers than our own. Although, this is showing their last refit date, I think. Because there's no way we were still building those 600... Were we still building those 600 ton destroyers in 1915? I don't think so. I think they were just refit then. Yeah, that's a loss to us. And that's not going to help out the uh, land battle. Hey, we got our, some air bases done. Crush them completely. Come on. Yes, okay, we can keep fighting. Ooh, fighter is a private venture. We don't have a fighter. Let's get it. They dominate the seas around Eritrea. Damn it. Uh, can they invade Eritrea? Yes, they can. Uh, you moved to the Indian Ocean. I don't know why you moved out of the Indian Ocean, but you did for some reason. Uh, n all of our other ships have short range, so it doesn't matter. Other than the Carlo Albertos, we could send one of those over. And some of our destroyers. So I'm thinking a group of 600 ton destroyers will move. Uh, no, no, we need every destroyer we have right now. I'll move two over to the Indian Ocean. Uh, yeah, okay, so we are going to need to lay down more destroyers. What size of destroyers do we currently have? If we go to light forces, uh, 1,100 tons. Okay, cool. So, time to design a new destroyer. At that, do we have triple tubes? No, we don't. Okay, okay, how do I want to do this? Because we could do oil firing. I don't think, yeah, we can't. We don't have access to it. Go up to 5-inch guns. Can we get an X on her? No, we can't. So I could add a W. I mean, not a W. Oh, yeah, W turret. Unfortunate, or W uh, torpedo mount. And imagine it's somewhere in this area. Uh, that doesn't look quite right, but I'll stick with it. Screw it. Get rid of the superstructure as it stands. Uh, take V out, put V back in. So we'll pretend it's just down here and that this gun's firing over it. Uh, so this will go about the same speed as our uh, current ones, 30 knots, but uh, it will be a lot better armed. Maybe not a lot better armed, only as a 5 inch guns, but you know. Still de or still better than the 4 inch guns. It should only take in a 20% uh, increase in fire, or not. 20% increase or decrease in uh, fire. Alright, 
so we're just pretending that the torpedo is, you know, here. Structure three, let's do, I don't know, some sort of a bridge kind of like this. Screw it, structure four can go, ah, eh, structure four can maybe be built around this aft funnel here. Uh, structure five will be on top of uh, this forward structure. I'm just trying to think about how I want to do it. Do is structure five kind of like this. And then structure six, I'm just going to build it as, you know, the actual bridge part there. There we go. I'm not bothering with like a mast or anything. That'll take a month to develop. Cruiser action. I will accept that because it's a cruiser action. We get Lepanto. So they are going to get a battle cruiser. However, it is at night, which is going to make this a little more interesting. Oh, it's going to be morning here soon. And Lepanto is definitely better than the French battle cruisers. Like, if we look at the French battle cruisers, I mean, they do have 14-inch guns, but they don't have a lot of armor, and although they do match the speed of the Lepanto, they also only have six 14-inch guns, versus the eight we're getting on uh, Lepanto. Um, I'm not sure I'd want to take Lepanto up against two of them, but against one of them, we should be okay. Have we missed each other? Where are they? Do they just go like right past us or something? I see our airship scouts are going. Uh, yeah, I will continue searching. Screw it. Your audio is cutting in now. That's weird. I don't know why. Uh, it shouldn't be. Shouldn't be doing it. Um, I'm not seeing that on OBS. I will continue searching. Hopefully it's not doing that on stream. Okay, they did have two battle cruisers out. Where were they? Where the hell were the French battle cruisers? Down here? No, those are just coastal patrol vessels. Did they go into port or something? What? So they circle here, and then go here, and then stop here. They must just go into port. I want to make sure they're not teleported or something. So I'm guessing the auto cutting in and out thing is probably, uh, I don't know, maybe a stream related thing. I don't, do I see any, I don't see any drop frames, so that didn't happen. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what was causing that. Oh, hey, new float plane scout. Cool. Lightning continues in Algeria. Trout sinks two merchants. Build me four destroyers right now. Honestly, halt Benedito Brin so that I'm not, you know, bleeding money. Oh, fleet battle. They decline. Mm. I'm going to decline. Um, I will maybe accept the raid on enemy coastal shipping. Yeah, we'll accept that. It's a fleet-sized battle. All right, so we have to destroy a bombardment target. <gasps> Vetter Pisani is in service. Welcome, Vetter Pisani, second battle cruiser of the, or of the Lepanto class. You should be a core on the uh, Lepantos here, if you can, if I can find them. There we go. Cool. Um. And then you guys are core on them. Yeah, sure. But I am probably going to take one of the support divisions off and move it to Conte de Kevlar. Because I do think she needs more. And then once 
once we get to daytime, what I'll do is I'll uh, take manual control over these guys. Uh, go to cruise speed. Honestly, go to maybe 14 knots for the moment. Sail to the bombardment target. Sail to the bombardment target. Right, it could also be a location with connection. Yeah, that is possible. Um, I, I wouldn't imagine it's something like with watching from Europe. I think at that point, the stream would just be more delayed. It would probably be more something along the lines of watching uh, in an area where the internet connection is unstable. Okay, one destroyer, one traitor. Have our airships spotted anything else other than that? No, but our bow cruisers have. Or our uh, scouts have. Hello there. What are you? It is a protected cruiser of some sort. Yeah, you're in the U.S. East Coast. So you're not going to be all that far away. Because I'm in uh, U.S. Central. Okay, we are hitting this fax class. Uh, that is the other scout. Actually, this is all their scout divisions. I'm guessing that whatever whatever battle fleet this is uh, hiding is located about here. Maybe I'm wrong. That's whatever battle... Yep, there it is. That's the battle fleet this is hiding. Yep, go full speed. So, right here in this battle, we have Conti Cavar, Leonardo da Vinci, Francesco Morsini, and Roma. Yeah, it, that's to be expected because Italia is uh, kind of rebuilding at the moment. Oh, hey, look, there's a merchant up there. Little coastal merchant. Okay, so these guys are firing on the Richelieu's. Uh, the Richelieu's look like they're firing currently on... Or, yeah, the Richelieu, Corbet, and Trident look like they're currently firing on Vetter Pisani and the Panto. So they do not have that, uh, they do not have ocean in this battle, which would be bad. You're also U.S. East Coast. Okay. I'm guessing that the connection issue is probably on your end. Or there's some connection issue. Okay, so we hit one of the Trident class. Are we reporting any damage on either? Or hit the Trident class, not one of the Trident class. There's only one. We fit again. Six inch shell on it. Uh, the javelin class is getting a little uncomfortably close. Oh, enemy battle cruiser spotted over there. This is the enemy battle cruiser I'm a little scared of. Good news is, though, we've managed to sink that merchant. The trident class has slowed down significantly. She's going five knots right now. Hit her. Actually, we have a flotilla attack going out to hit these guys now. So. What I might try to do is I might try to rely on Vetter Pisani in Lepanto to take out the bombardment target. Well, these guys kind of defend them against this flank. Although, you know, no, I should keep them grouped together. There's still a lot of day or a lot of daylight left. But it would be really nice to knock out, you know, an additional battleship or two here. Cuz that as much as, like, winning this battle is a priority, you know, part of the major priority here is knocking out their fleet. So, unfortunately, they've kind of crossed our T. Well, they kind of have boxed our battleships in, and I'm probably going to have to turn away or do this sort of odd maneuver. But they are sailing away from us. I'm really hoping that our destroyers here can do something. Better Pisani. What happened? One of our ships uh, detached due to a rudder jam. She's still okay. You detached due to flooding. Um, so I want you to turn that way. Oh. Good job. Lepanto. Why did you why did you detach? I guess it's good that you did. Okay, come on. Oh, I think her bridge might have gotten shot or something. Alright. 
So Vetter Pisani is over here. We're hitting the Trident class more from behind. It looks like we actually... No, no, that's the enemy destroyer up in front. I have an idea. And this is going to depend on us being able to do one thing. And that is cut them off here, which I don't think we're going to be able to do. Okay, so good news is the Trident class is being shot up a lot. They're going to port. Oh my god, you are such an unlucky vessel, Roma. That's... How? My god, that must have been at the extreme range of that trident. Good news is Roma is mostly held up against this one a bit better than last time. And she is limiting her flooding. Yeah, down to 12. She is falling to the third ship in the formation, and she is really slow. Okay, the bombardment target's destroyed. That's fine. Uh, turn away if you can. The Trident class is probably down. Oh, a family member's using Amazon TV. That might do it. Oh, we are firing torpedoes at stuff. Nice, nice hit, nice hit. That is excellent. Uh, Roma, what state are you in? Okay, you're mostly under control. I think we do need to turn back around, though. Roma, you probably need to pull away. Thinking about it now until you can speed up. Actually, you can speed up now. Okay, that's not one we really needed to hit. Okay, Leonardo, how is your rudder still jammed? Honestly, at this point, slow down to 14 knots. That Dunkirk's rudder is jammed. Definitely. Stop shooting the trident with torpedoes. Great. No, yeah, hit the Battlecruiser Division, guys, please. Stop. Don't target the Trident. Don't target the Trident. Oh, hey, finally. Leonardo da Vinci's rudder's fixed. Okay, so Roma, I'm going to turn you this way. So we have lost a destroyer here. I don't know what my destroyers are currently doing. These, this is the threat you should be going after, guys. So how fast can you go, Leonardo? Um, oh, you've just merged, so that's why. How fast can you guys go now? 20 knots. Roma, kind of stay over here, actually. Lepanto, try to catch up with Vetter Pisani. Please. Lepanto's finally back. Destroyers are still on flotilla attack, and most of them have, for whatever reason, decided to target the Richelieu. Honestly, though, if we could knock out their Battlecruiser division here, that would be an excellent treat. All right, Roma, come back in a little bit. So which ones are damage? You are... Which one are report? Reporting medium damage on the Torville, and I think this Dunkirk was hit by a torpedo. Okay, there we go. Guys, do you actually have torpedoes left? Yeah, you still have torpedoes left. I'm going to take manual control over this destroyer, and I'm going to take manual control over this destroyer. Actually, Palay, do you have torpedoes left? Uh, yeah, you do. You still have a launcher. I take it you guys are probably okay, too. So I'm going to turn you just directly around that way, and you around this way, too. And see if we can put another torpedo into uh, one of these battle cruisers here. Oh, 
Okay. Who's firing? Both of you are firing. Oh, you've got it in something of a crossfire now. Oh, the Richelieu is coming back out. Unfortunately, we did lose one of those destroyers firing the torpedoes. Uh, you go back to AI control. Uh, Vetter, you are going to start moving this way. You guys are going to start moving this way as well. Ardito, you are going to temporarily hold your torpedo fire as well as you. You're gonna, you guys are each gonna form into line ahead, rather than line abreast. For the moment, and you are gonna attempt to take out this battle cruiser over here. On the other hand, how the hell is this Dunkirk still alive? Oh, crap. Uh, feel free to fire torpedoes whenever you want. The Panto, pull the hell away from there. Open torpedo fire. Audio would be really nice and not having it stop playing every five seconds. Yeah, that's the streaming service for you. Okay, the Torville is now trapped. Um, I'm going to send you guys back around on the Torville. And you go that way. Lepanto, you go there. Where's Roma? What is Roma doing now? Oh, Roma's up over that way. Uh, Roma, you kind of go back that way. Panto, you go that way. You guys try to cut in on it. You guys try to cut this way on it. Oh, come on. You guys can, can you actually score a torpedo hit? I don't know how the hell, you know, we're looking at a Dunkirk class here surviving, you know, two torpedo hits. Come on. Torpedo it, please. Launch your torpedoes or something. You go back to AI control. Turn this way. Guys, get ahead of it. I thought I turned them around, but apparently not. Roma, start pulling back that way. Fancy coming divine. Hold on. Pressing a bunch of keys to see what autocorrect gives you. Ah. Alright. Cut in front of it. You guys are now currently at a pretty good angle on it. And nothing. We do not seem to be able to hit this damn thing with the torpedo for the life of us. And yeah, those Dunkirks are definitely getting in. Oh, finally! That's a misreport. That's a false report. Both of them have gone straight through. Go back to AI control. Vetter Pisani, turn this way so you don't get torpedoed. What are you doing? Okay, you guys just go back to AI control at this point. Come on. Somebody, please, just torpedo this thing. Actually, it might have been a torpedo hit. What is Lepanto doing? Oh, she's sailing away. There we go. That's a proper hit. All right, cancel the flotilla attack order. The bombardment target is destroyed. Take mint, or let everything go back to AI control and run. Just run out of the battle. This is a victory. We don't need to push our luck any further. Roma, please start moving this way. You know what, honestly, Roma should be probably be moving at 8 knots, and we should probably be escorting her. I'll see if I can get her to rejoin with the main formation here. So what is Lepanto doing? Oh, is she forming back on a Vetter Pisani again? Go to cruise speed.
Yeah, there we go. You go 10 knots down south. And you'll also go 10 knots with them. Because I don't think that it's a good idea to just continue this battle anymore, especially with Roma and the state she's in. So 10 knots so that Roma's flooding doesn't get much worse. Um, unfortunately, I don't think we can get to Olbia. We can get to Cagliari. Actually, you know what? The best point to get to is probably... I don't think I actually think we can get to Imperia. It's probably best to go to Genova, though. So I'm going to turn in that direction instead. Although, I'm going to sail... Actually, no, maybe, maybe Lespiza. We'll aim at Lespiza first, and then we'll go to uh, Genova after that. Oh, come on. Just let play through. Run it through. I don't need don't need you to stop on sighting reports. It's picking up survivors from the uh, Trident and the Battlecruiser. As well as, you know, the f couple of destroyers we lost. The three destroyers we lost. We cannot keep bleeding destroyers like this. It is not helpful. I think after this war is done, though, we are just going to have to um, abandon, uh, or not abandon, but massively increase destroyer production at the expense of other stuff. Okay. Wow. Enemy. F <laughs> we one of our airships got damaged, and yeah, enemy fighters were attacking one of our airships, and looks like. Uh, Destroyed a fighter, but our airship was damaged in the process. Okay. Those two destroyers are just sitting out there. Needs more mineling subs. Oh, yeah, it's rescuing survivors. This guy has found the main fleet and has decided, nope, I don't want any of that. Yeah, Roma still has three flooding. Uh, okay, so let's see. So she has... How many flotation points left is that? Um, 18, 197. Actually, wait, no. It's, it tells me. 12,242 of that. So I don't need to do any subtraction to figure anything out. Uh, so 12,242. Divided by three means that she can stay afloat for 4,000 more turns. Which is fine. That is acceptable. Do not build mine laying subs. Don't tell me what to do. So once we're at about the midpoint away from uh, Nice... I, I would love to get into Imperia, but I don't think we can. So I'll just swerve over to Gen or Genova. Although, you know, if it does let us uh, get into Imperia. Oh, no. It's like you're in a minefield. Jesus Christ. Okay, so there's our airship base at Imperia just launching stuff. Or launching scouts. And that's a destroyer lost. Rip. They're not going to get back to Imperia in time, but I think Roma's going to survive this. Yep. Uh, so yeah, four destroyers lost. I called it. But we did manage to sink a battlecruiser and a battleship in this engagement. So, Torville was a Torville-class battlecruiser, and she just took a lot of fire. Multiple 6-inch, 12-inch hits, 13-inch. Uh, There's more 6-inch. A lot of a lot of these little light and medium hits. 10-inch from Carlo Alberto. There's the 13-inch hits, which were actually doing the damage. Critical hit, electrical power disabled. Uh, so launched a torpedo at the or at uh, Vedra Pisani, which I'm guessing that was. And I think I called that and moved her out of the way. She takes an engine room hit, belt penetration. Oh my god, the torpedo hit from Rosalino Pilo was a dud. But the one from uh, Guglimo Pepe actually did uh, hit and did rather damage. Uh, but it might have actually... Uh, that might have been enough.
to kill her. Because it looks like the 13 inch hits afterwards were enough. Give me one moment of mute. Alright, I've got to bird now. He's back. I try to avoid having him on my shoulder during the live streams now, um, but, you know, I let him out early this time. Well, not early, but at a slightly earlier time. Um, so, yeah, if we look through the rest of it, yeah, she didn't take too much after she was sinking. Uh, Battlecruiser Leon. Uh, Jasper? Little, little birdie here. Oh, stop that. Go, go on your little cage there. Yeah, he demands to see me every night, but usually they can let him out anytime between, like, 7 and 8. So it's a little, slightly earlier than I expected. So, Leon, you are a snot. You're going inside that cage because of the way you're acting. Sorry. Um, so Jake's a torpedo from... Okay, so she takes a few hits. She takes a torpedo from... Uh, or a Nisimoso. I actually fired a torpedo at something. Oh yeah, at Roma. Did she hit Roma? She must have been the one who hit Roma. Or maybe not. No, I don't know. 13 inch. So she lim limits her flooding down. Okay, so we must have hit each of the Dunkirk class with a, uh, torpedo. Admiral Burb is back. Yep. She took multiple 13 inch, 12 inch hits and survived. Uh, Trident. We did sink, so she took a 13-inch crit. First hit, disabled her electrical power. We get a couple more hits in her. Um, she limits her flooding. Shell burst them into a coal bunker. 12-inch hits. 12-inch and 13-inch hits. Some penetrations. Launches a torpedo at Roma. Actually, that might be the one which hits. Critical fire control damage. Fed her Pisani. And there's all the 13-inch hits on her. And she gets rubber repaired, but by that point she's already sinking because of just all the damage she's taken. And Audace, Ardito, and Feder Pisani all put a torpedo into her. Uh, Dukens also took a torpedo hit. So I thought that um, we put torpedoes into one of the Dunkirks, and then it, I was shocked to see it survive. But no, we put one into each, so we damaged both of them. So she was taking 12 inch, 13 inch hits. Q turret got destroyed by a 13 inch shell. She takes torpedo from Palade Bronzetti. Um, still taking, you know, 13 inch hits and such. She has a lot of flooding, but she does get by. Roma suffered the single torpedo hit, and that was from Trident. This is the second time that Roma has been hit by a battleship torpedo today, or in this uh, war. How long has the stream been going? Uh, hmm. Almost two and a half hours, so I'll probably call it after this battle. That's about how long I like to do streams for after this uh, damage assessment. So, Francesco Morsini, 7-inch belt extended, 14-inch belt penetration. She's taken a few 14-inch hits, but nothing too major. She held up pretty well. This destroyer, so it took some 6-inch shells, 6-inch uh, critical hit counter. Bulkhead ruptures, flooding increases, and it sinks. And unfortunately, that's a good destroyer. Uh, Conti Cavoir took a few 7-inch hits, some 14-inch hits. Oh yeah, she had some flooding and detached because of that for some reason. And well, Only 18 flooding is a little ridiculous to detach for, but she got it under control. 6-inch um, hull-help belt extended, and the coal bunker stopped it. Finally got the stream to work. Nice. Uh, the Panto... Okay, so that was the... 14-inch critical hit rudder damage. That was why she detached. That was what happened. She got the rudder repaired, takes another 4 after all hit, and that's it. Um, this destroyer... Oh, damn it, this is another good one. She just took too many 6-inch hits while trying to do the torpedo run. Vetter Pisani she took 4 heavy hits and 6 medium hits. 14-inch hull help belt extended, hull help belt penetration, 13-inch structure pass through, superstructure hit. You know, to be loaded. So, Palade Bronzetti. She took... 
It's like uh, some three inch and six inch hits, and that just sank her. She got the torpedo in on one, and then Simon Schiaffino. Yeah, took some three inch and six inch hits and sank. Destroyed the installation because uh, the Panto went up there and killed it. Uh, sank this merchant due to shooting it. Sank this merchant due to boarding it. And then this destroyer took heavy damage from multiple shells and survived. Leonardo da Vinci took uh, light damage. Just a few 7-inch hits, it looks like. One of them damaged the rudder. Actually, wait, yeah, yeah, no, she was spinning for a while. So that was a 7-inch on her, wow. Mortier took uh, some 6-inch and a 3-inch hit. Uh, Caesar Roosevelt took a 3-inch... Or a 6-inch hit, 3-inch near miss. Audace, a uh, couple 6-inch hits, 10-inch near miss. Did significant damage. Yeah, our destroyers were pretty hurt in this one. Um, because they they really didn't focus the flotilla attack where they needed to. They needed to flo focus the flotilla attack on the battle cruisers, but instead they focused on the battleships. We sank that patrol boat with a few six and or a couple six inch shells. This destroyer took a six inch hit and survived, and the last destroyer is this one. So yeah, unfortunately, destroyer wise, we're losing a lot. But from a battleship perspective, we are really winning. We have taken control of Algeria, we have invaded Corsica! Nicely done, nicely done, nicely done. Resume construction on Ashley, no, don't do that yet. Map. Alright. Invasion target is now Tunisia. Um, are AMCs worth it? I don't usually build AMCs because they get scrapped immediately after the war. The only exception to that is if you can convert them into an aircraft carrier. Um, so that is, historically that's like a Yunyo and Hio of the uh, Japanese Navy. You have to, uh, yeah, take those and convert them into aircraft carriers. Good news is, uh, Catania and the... Or Catania and her sister should be out pretty soon. Um, Italia's gonna be back in service again. France is not blockaded currently. The, yeah, they must have pulled their ships out to, uh, help defeat the Russians blockading them there. But, you know, that has given us control over the Med. And does France have a... Oh yeah, France still has the two dreadnoughts. They lost one battle cruiser, lost their oldest battle cruiser. The Dunkirks are a little annoying, but it was a good battle. Now, if you can capture Corsica by the time this war ends, yeah, that would be nice. It would be nice to capture all three of these places um, by the time this war ends, and just have control. And then imagine me just deciding, hey, let's go to the Indian Ocean and also take uh, take that. Why do we only have one ship in the Indian Ocean? Oh, yeah, because you're still moving there, Lespiza. Because we can't go through the uh, canal right now. She could make larger merchant ship carriers. Yeah, it would be nice. I mean, you can do that with the AMCs, so that is kind of, you know, what that's attempting to simulate. Or CVLs. Okay, so what I was going to do, yeah, Tunisia needs to be invaded. Uh... I'm not going to resume construction on our battleship just yet, but I did want to build a fort or a base. Um, I want to build... Actually, we have two airfields at Algiers. So... Right, we don't have any aircraft. That makes sense. So, uh, hello there, airship base. Build you at... Um, Probably Algiers. Oh, we have an air base there. Our ship base at Algiers. Oh, oh wait, those are airship bases. Okay, cool. Yeah. Bone and Algiers. So that's good that we already have those uh, ready. So we can uh, launch scouts out over this way. So now the current invasion target is Tunisia. With the intention of invading... Well, yeah, them. But... At this point, uh, I think the stream's done. The war is going very well. War is going very well. We're going to get Italia back, and hopefully that'll give us some insight into director technology because we're building her in Britain, who has directors or fire control directors right now. 
and there's some thought about rebuilding other ships there too. Uh, submarine wise, you still have the one sub. Uh, some subs are only two turns out from finishing. Monthly balance for now is sustainable, and if we can get a successful invasion off on Tunisia, we're not going to need um, any more budget for invasions unless we want to take here, uh, Djibouti, which I might do. You know, we're sending that force around. Um, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to get through the Panama... Oh, not the Panama, the... Suez Canal yet. Um, because we're at war, but you know, when we stop being at war, maybe we can get through the Suez. And, uh, yeah, properly invade that. I'd probably have to send the Carlo Albertos around to do that, though, and even then, that would be a little risky trying to take uh, Djibouti. Um, maybe we could get it in a peace deal, I don't know. Or we get reparations in the peace deal and focus more on the med. But yeah, it might be good to control more of uh, this region here. Anyway, yeah, this was very successful. I'm going to put my sub on fleet support. There's no point in having it on prize rules. And yeah, I guess I will uh, I'll uh, wind down the stream here. So thank you everyone for watching. Uh, if, uh, if if you're watching this on Twitch, you can look down below and see the Discord, YouTube, and Twitter or not notifications, uh, links, um, those obviously link to my Discord, where you can get notifications on the streams, my YouTube channel, where you can watch these streams, uh, after, or afterwards, and, um, Twitter, which is, well, Twitter, American Mozambique, yep, they took, they took Mozambique, <laughs> um, I, I don't use Twitter very much, and if you're watching this on YouTube, then the YouTube link will be replaced with a Twitch link, which is where I live stream all these, you know, whenever I feel like it, uh, thank you everyone for watching, and, yeah, I will see you guys next time, then. Bye! Hey, Jasper. Admiral Burb. Admiral Burb, you want to say goodbye? You, you don't know how to say goodbye, can you? No, you don't. Pretty bird? Can you say pretty bird? Why do you not talk for me down here? No? You know what? He, can, he can do calls, but he's not doing them right now. Pretty bird. Nasty bird. You, you kind of heard him there. All right. Bye, everyone. <laughs>